Hello guys, welcome to AI Sciences and today we are going to talk about Logaroo. So Logaroo is, um, is another Python package that helps you in, in logging your error. Why, I mean, it does not stop the execution of your error. It actually uh, logs it logs it out for you. Let me uh, give you give you a very brief explanation of it. So first of all, uh, this is how you can install it. Pip install Logaroo, simple, right? And then, um, for example, you're writing a writing a long code, and in, in, inside that code, you write a lot of print statements in order to make sure that if your 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 code execution stops, then where and why is it stopping? So that is that is really a bad practice practice nowadays. So Logru helps you in avoiding this bad practice. How? Right. So first of all, this is how you can install it. Uh, exclamation mark, or you can say. Um, uh, the, the the magic sign, then pep, then install, and then logro. So after that, if we say logger, so we are we have imported logro as um, as logger. Uh, sorry, from logro we have imported the logger. So we'll say logger dot. Uh, we'll say debug, and here we'll write the de de debugging message, whatever we want to say. So let's say we'll say debug oh, sorry d bug so if we run it it executes a complete log it it executes that exact time when this this logger was was displayed and it also um uh, it also explains the the message that is inside the logger right whereas if we simply uh, use the print statement and we say let's say this is debug it just prints it out. It does not display any time. It does not display any log of the error, right? So, um, and also we have we have uh, different um, levels of, of, of the logging. So let's say we'll say logger dot uh, debug that we have we have already seen. So the other thing is logger dot info. So you can say that this is info, right? And then, um, there is another thing that is called uh, success. If you want to uh, log some some successful thing, so you'll say S U double C E W S. So you'll say success, and uh, here you can print any message inside it, right? So the next thing is um, that you can use is warning, right? So you can also um, add some warnings in your code as well, right? And then we have error, we have critical error. Um, yeah, let me write those as well. So let's say error, right? And here I'll say error, right? So this shows the error and if, if you want to show some something critical, all you have to do is you, you, have, to, you have to say logger dot critical right so this will uh, this will show the critical error now okay so um, so let's say you you you're, you've written a code and you want to catch or you want to log the errors in it so you'll say at the rate of logger dot catch right and then here what you will do is you will say define um, let's say I am writing a code over here so there is a general error that we call uh, divided by zero error. So if if we divide, let's say, an, any number, let's say twelve divided by zero, it throws um, it throws an error, right? So um, whenever this thing will come inside your code, your core, code execution will stop, right? So what we want to, what we can do is we'll say divide by zero, um, or l let me call it divide. So um, dev and here I'll pass a number um, okay so so let's call it divide 100 so this will divide 100 it will return 100 divided by the number that is being passed right simple so let's say if we say um, divide 100 and we pass some number let's say 10 to it it will return 10 simple so if we pass 0 into it then what will happen 
here you can see that the logger has has logged the whole information from the beginning where the file is residing and everything and i mean i mean the whole error error log is there and if you if we go um at the end of this error it will display that it is um a zero a deviant error deviant by zero right so so this is the whole log of the error right okay another cool thing is if you want to uh, let's say you, you're running a code or you're training your model you want to catch all the errors i mean you're training your model overnight and you're sleeping you want to catch all the errors what can you do so um this is how you can export your your logger logger to the file so here we'll say let's say file and underscore here we'll say time right and then the file name will be log then um sorry comma its level would be trace and its rotation would be um mm -hmm. let's make it 100 mb right so it will create a file with the with the timestamp and that file will be um, having all these errors that will be inside your code let me run it and let's see uh, here is the file right here is how it looks so let me open it out with uh, with the notepad and here is the whole export of the log error right how doesn't matter how many errors it produce it will come over here so i mean uh, you can we can make a lot of complex um uses of this this logger or logru library as well um let's say you have written a code you you can raise the exceptions and stuff like that uh, i mean it has a lot of uses uh, if you want to learn more about logru you should refer to the basic documentation of this logru thank you Thank <music> you.